Welcome back my friends to Twisted Stitches. My name is Tammy and today, being December 2nd, bad Tammy, today we are going to open days one and two of Felicity's Yarn Studios Christmas Advent. Um, yeah, become over 50 and all of a sudden the days are just gone. So let's start out with, take a peek here at this deliciousness. Well, I mean, ooh, that's going to always fall forward. So here is the box. I tried to put this right like that. These are all the inspirational photos for each one of these mini Hanks. And of course, for the final on Christmas morning, the full Hank. Um, each one of these Hanks is 92 yards or 20 gram mini Hanks. So this year, the inspirational photos and the inspirational stuff that she used this year is from the artist Georgia O'Keeffe. Now, a little bit about Georgia O'Keeffe. Georgia O'Keeffe was considered an American modernist artist who was famous for her paintings of enlarged flowers, New York skyscrapers, and the landscapes of New Mexico. Georgia O'Keeffe was born November 15th, 1887 in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, and she died at the age of 98. She died March 6th, 1986 in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Now this Christmas advent came with a little note from Zoe. Zoe is the yardist who does yard work. <laughs> yeah, those are my those are my weird words I've been doing lately. So I consider this yard and I will consider Zoe a yardist. Zoe's Etsy shop has hand dyed yarns and a few other things, but she specialized in hand dyed yarns. And as always, the link to Felicity Studios yarn shop will be in my description box and I will pin it as the first comment. So here's a little note from Zoe. I'm just going to go over it real quick. Uh, this is inspired by the amazing artwork of Georgia O'Keeffe, widely considered to be the mother of American modernism style of painting. As I was researching, I was struck by O'Keeffe's unique combination of colors and learned she spent her life creating, creating custom pigments, which was an added challenge in getting those colors to translate onto yarn. Hence, yardist. Hence, yart. I've included a key at the bottom of the box with a picture of each painting and highly suggest you look them up online as you open the packages. Um, just like last year, the way I did it, I took screenshots offline of what I considered like the best rendition that I could find that I thought would suit just to see how it compares to the yarn that we're, we're going to be looking at. So without further ado, we will be opening up days one and days two today, seeing as it is December 2nd and I totally missed yesterday and I'm very sorry about that. So for day one, we have black iris and for day two, we have purple leaves. Now, my suggestion to you guys is look these up for yourselves. Do a little research if you want to. I mean, I went down my rabbit holes as always. So here is a picture of the painting Black Iris by Georgia O'Keeffe. This is the first inspirational art piece that we'll be comparing to for day one of this advent. So Black Iris was painted in 1926. It is an oil painting on canvas. Um, it is a beautiful, large flower. Some of the main artwork that O'Keeffe did was large, detailed flowers. Now, uh, unfortunately, many art historians and other critics criticized her artwork, calling her, calling her artwork as depicted as female genitalia, and that's what their take on it was. Um, let's see. So she said that she tried to do away with, like, the sexualized readings of her artwork by adding a lot of detail. I have just something that I looked up and it just struck me. So I took a screenshot of a little bit, just, you know, 
this first video is going to be a little bit longer because I'm going to give you a little bit of background information on this. Just, you know, bear with me. Um, but I just found this fascinating. I kind of find it, I found it very, very funny and witty. So I found some critics that were speaking of Miss O'Keefe's artwork and I found some backlash that she put back in like some comebacks that she had for these critics and I'm just going to share this with you real quick so uh art historian Linda Nochlin interpreted Black Iris as a morphological metaphor for female genitalia and O'Keefe rejected such interpretations in a 1939 text uh, accompanying an ex exhibition of her work writing well I made you take time to look at what I saw. And when you took time to really notice my flower, you hung all of your associations with flowers on my flower. And you write about my flower as if I think and see what you think and see of the flower. So that's how she attempted to do away with the sexualization and the sexualized readings of her artwork. So there was another one during a show that um, this gentleman who was a sociologist and some kind of other critic, um, he looked a little creepy when I looked him up because, you know, I went down my rabbit hole. He looked like a little bit of a pervert, but hey, whatever, right? So this guy's name was Lewis Mumford who commented about an exhibition that he went to seeing her artwork. And this, her artwork, this exhibition was like in 1927. This is what this Lewis Mumford had written about the exhibition that he went to see of Georgia O'Keeffe's artwork. He put, yesterday, O'Keeffe's exhibition opened. The show is a strong one, long, loud blast of sex, sex in youth, sex in adolescence, sex in maturity sex as gaudy as the ten nights in a whorehouse, and sex as pure as the vigils of the Vestal Virgins. Sex bulging, sex tumultuous, sex deflated. After this description, you'd better not visit this show. Inevitably, you'll be a little disappointed, for perhaps only half of the sex is on the walls. The rest is probably in me. Wait pervert and he's telling people not to go because he thinks these flowers of our sexual nature okay so even if it was was it their po place to act like all that no i don't think so so any anyway i say to madame o'keefe touche <laughs> touche when she told them <clears throat> go stick it in your rear that's not what it's about i made you look at my artwork i made you study my artwork and if that's what you got from it that's not what I'm getting from it. So <laughs> she didn't, she just didn't care, whatever. Anyway, so let's get on with it. I know what you're here for and I'm taking too long, but I like to keep you here a little bit longer with me. And I hope you enjoy a little bit about the history. After today, my videos will get a little bit shorter. You know that. So let's get on with the very first one, Black Iris. I am so excited. Okay, here goes. I've been waiting so long. Because I, a lot of you who get Christmas Advents, y'all know that the, you get them in the mail usually like the end of October, beginning of November. And I think I had these like November 5th. And that's all I could do was wait <laughs> for December to come along. And you have to order them. Usually they start going on sale in a lot of shops, June and July and things like that. So yeah, I purchased these way back um, the end of June, I think it was. So here we go. Day one of Felicity Yarn Studios Christmas Advent Black Iris. Ooh, that is lovely. Absolutely lovely. We got some real pretty little, we got little bits of purples in here, some real pretty gray. This is. This is cream color. That's cream color right there. So let's take a look at, here is the photo of the black iris. And as you can see, there's a little bit of that lavender purples in there. And there are these charcoal -y gray colors. You, as you see, the gray gets lighter and goes into this silvery 
lavender color and it's darker up here that is beautiful absolutely beautiful exciting woohoo so that's day one i'm gonna put it back in the bag now for day two so for day two the inspirational artwork is purple leaves and that is absolutely gorgeous that is a beautiful painting So Purple Leaves was done in 1922. It's an oil on canvas. So art experts had stated that, that these leaves were so magnified that they overtook the perimeter of the canvas. They were just all encompassing. So as you can see, the leaves just pop off the canvas. They keep going. Isn't that gorgeous? That's a gorgeous painting. So let's open day two of Felicity Yarn Studios Christmas Advent 2021, inspired by Georgia O'Keeffe's artwork. This one is from the painting Purple Leaves. Let's take a look. Oh, that is so pretty. Just a beautiful, delicate purples with a little bit of speckling can you see the speckling right there is it showing up really really pretty that is a lovely color here's the inspirational photo and here is the yarn oh that is gorgeous gorgeous the colors are so pretty for this very pretty very pretty and I love the little details of the speckling to represent the background of the other leaves behind it. Really pretty. This is just so pretty. Oh, this is gorgeous. I love it. So here is day two of Felicity Yarn Studios 2021 Christmas Advent featuring the artist Georgia O'Keeffe. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful. So there we go, guys. We have day one which is black iris and day two, which is purple leaves. Absolutely gorgeous, loving it so far. These colors are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. They're gonna look so pretty together, all worked up, very pretty. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Thank you for all your support. You guys are the best. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay creative. I'll be talking to you tomorrow when we open up day three of Felicity Yarn Studios. Christmas 2021 yarn advent. I'll talk to you guys later. Love ya.